Alright, welcome or welcome back, new viewers and gamers. It is time for another episode of the Kirby Star Allies playthrough, and today we're going to go through the Jambadra base. So let us begin. Alright, we're down an elevator. How nice of them to let us in like this. Maybe we should thank them next time we see whoever's running the space. Even one wrong step, I could die. Right, we have ourselves a friend ability. What will it be today? Probably the friend train. That was the friend circle, the really dumb looking friend circle. <laughs> training with the coach, or tra training for flat. I think this is the last time we have to use the friend circle as well, I mean, so we so. I don't like the friend circle. Nice if you cut the bomb, you know, never mind. I think I'll just do it myself. Now that's how you want something done, you just gotta do it yourself. Because the friends in this game do, do not have the best hair, I should say. Wrong. 
right, so I need all these guys to deal with this. Yeah, screw, we'll just do that another time. Just replaced all my friends for nothing. I didn't know uh, certain characters had that deep of lore in that game. Also with those uh, paper looking enemies there that are throwing those hammers, if you use cutting based abilities on them, that can also get rid of their little defenses. Dang it, I want the bird on. And he, I just killed him. Oh well. Damn water bubble dudes were in the way. Why did he? You know, never mind. Uh, do I have to? Yeah, I do. Sadly, I gotta use Parasol. Uh, that's just wrong, man. I don't want to use Parasol. And we have ourselves yet another friend building. What will it be today? The friend circle again. All right. That's why I had to replace it. Man, I just another reason why, like, as I've shown in a previous episode, why I don't like the circles. Just the jumping feels a little awkward sometimes, and in certain parts can be a little annoying to put time. Other than just how stupid this looks. Thankfully, I hope I don't have to do this again. Alright, and that's the end of the stage. And number one once again. <laughs> Alright, and this puzzle picture is completed. Nice little reference to the uh, GBA as well as some of the DS Kirby games like Squeeze Squad and Amazing Mirror. The Divine Terminus. Hi. All right, we're almost done. Now, in this stage, a lot of uh, yeah, that happens quite often. All right, let me get rid of this. There's more reasons why I don't like it. So, let's get a real ability. I 
Now you have to be full of determination to defeat him. Alright, Big Lee, get over here. So I'm alive, all right. Was that? I believe that was last night. It was for me. It was last night. All right, boy, get over here, Rocky. Goodbye. You have been dismissed. Right, see that scene again? Give me the light. Thing. There we go. Ah. See what's in the secret door. I think I need to float upward if I remember correctly for this one. Oh, I made a mistake. I forgot you have to time your jump. Now you can always do it again. are very likely to die here, so do time your jumps correctly now. <laughs> we did it. All right. for us. Like I said before, we should really be thanking these guys for being so gracious. Yeah, see, well, he has a flying ship, not a flying fortress, but yeah. Uh, let's see, a burning Leo will do the trick. And goodbye, Beagley, you won't be needed. All right, let's do it. Following the Dark Hearts, a friend has allowed the Dark Hearts of whatever that just said. I don't know if this is the second game in a row that had something to do with some big ol' heart. Stop right there, pink one! I did not expect you to survive your visit to Sebastian. That, what's more, you somehow bested my darling Franny and Burge. However, your luck has run out. This is the darest wish of Lord Highness. <laughs> that no one interferes! Oh, I interfere. Who's gonna stop me, hmm? The bringer of shock is end for us aid. End for revenge. Definitely hits a bit harder than much faster. She even gonna leave sparks on the ground. But I got my own sparks. Stage. Right, now 
this is the attack of the first thing. You have to stay under her and keep doing damage. That's really all you have to do. And down she goes. Actually, wait, I forgot something, the pause screen description. Sam Partizan swore an oath of loyalty to Highness, even though he has yet to remember her, a really long name. Her respect of Highness, or for Highness, never falters, thanks to this, his intoxicating charisma and her deep sense of duty. And despite his poor treatment of her, treats her like shit and yet she keeps dealing with it. <laughs> And because it's required by law, we have to do a victory dance. Now, who's that guy in the background? I'm very curious. Help. I... Yes. Oh. What is this interference? You. You seem to be in the way. Well then, it seems we do not have enough energy for a revive our, our Dark Lord. Must we allow ourselves to fall into oblivion? No! No! No, 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 I say! We are the masses. Yeah, he goes on this long ass rant. Yeah, I'm not reading all that. Though it has some important lore dumps to it if you slow it down. Grace us, gracious Dark Lord! You see it now, don't you? Anyone who interrupts our revival ceremony, we must kindly ask that they. Please disappear forever. You can say die, it's okay. Efficient of doom, highness. Alright, this part of the fight is pretty easy. You just kind of blows around like this. Not really doing much, but this game is a little... Uh, uncanny, I should say. There's a pretty strong magic team as well. Throwing a variety of magic attacks around, which we'll start to do right here. he goes. Are you all ready to see his face? I don't think you're ready, but you have to be. I didn't know he was related to Hypno. I'm gonna be dead honest when I first saw this when this game first came out. Ooh, is it a weird thing to look at? But yeah, he just spawns the mages out of nowhere and literally drains their life force. A little dark. Ah, of course. And this is probably my least favorite fight in the main story. Just because some of his attacks are a little unpredictable. Not this particular one, but he's literally using the mages as puppets here. Yeah, for shiny hypno world, is it? Alright, we're in the second phase now, and all my friends are about to die. Alright, now he does my least favorite friend attack. This garbage. Now he will use them as literal shields. I think he can break the guard? I don't remember. Yeah, 
Yes, you can. All right, I forgot something else too, though. Pause screen description. His once carefully concealed face now exposed. Highness is the rampage. Uh, is on the rampage. Tossing the three unconscious sisters around like ragdolls. It's clear he lost his grip on reality. It's up to the star allies to bring an end to this nightmare and save everything. Stun for a little bit, is the time to get some damage off. And down he goes. Alright, what will that challenge be? You... How can you defeat me, the Lord Highness? An offering to our Dark Lord, perhaps, if there is an offering? What should I do? Only one option remains. Those who harbor the greatest of magic, I call upon you. He literally sacrifices them for his operation. Make it so. Accept my aid. I pledge myself to you, Dark Lord of Destruction. I do this so that our Dark Lord may be reborn. Rise, destroyer of worlds. Rise, Void Termina. And now this is probably one of the most lore-heavy Kirby boss fights ever. And I'll explain it in full detail. And we have to deal with the friend star. Actually, I keep forgetting what the jump button was. Now this looks a little different. Alright, the star ally sparkler. We're gonna go into space now. Onward, and see this weird-looking void that didn't show up before. Oh, it's just ability only the entire game. All right, then. I mean, you can do that in any Kirby game, really. All right, onward to the final battle. The friends have joined to create the legendary Star Ally Sparkler and whatever that just said. Kirby Star Allies, roll credits. And here he is. His mask kind of looks like something out of uh, Majora's Mask. A lot of people like to compare him to his own villain. Alright, so first off, you can't really damage him outright. You only have to damage certain parts of his body when they show up. Like, right here. These little eyeballs is what you have to attack. Alright, you can charge up your glasses you saw me do just then. And they also have homing capabilities, so if you're at a strange angle, you should be able to attack them just fine. But just like any other Kirby Final boss, these fights are chock full of many different references. Not just here, we can also get them uh, go over them as the final pieces. I was supposed to hit him with charge shots though. I think it takes about six or seven charge shots to have break out of those barriers. According to lore, Void Termina is literally not a planet level threat, not a galaxy level threat, not even a universal level threat. Dude's a multiverse level threat. You can destroy many worlds. And notice the ice swords. Now, 
This boss, much like Kirby, can absorb different abilities. If you saw earlier when Highness put the three mages inside of that giant heart, that's what he's using. He's mimicking uh, Francisca's ice powers. You can do the same with Zen Partisan's Lightning and Flame Reduce Fire as well. Alright, and here's the last part of this phase. This is a very long ow. This is a very long battle, so we do better be here. Also, I really like this battle theme. Definitely a really cool final boss. How many final boss? Maybe final boss things are You cannot deny that. Also, if you look closely at his arms, they somewhat resemble the Master Crown as seen in Return of Dream. And now we must go inside of him, which is also something very similar to Kirby. Where Kirby has his own little pocket dimension inside of him when he soaks up enemies. And now there's this virus looking heart. Now look very closely to the back. Also, blood. Slightly miscolored blood. See what I tell you? The Kirby games have blood. If you look closely in the background, you can see the three mages are nice. Very grim and dark. If you also look closely at the floor, it's very similar to the floor of the final level of 64 before you fight Zero 2. Like I said, this fight is for chalk. Like every final of the Kirby boss is based on chalk full of references throughout the franchise. Makes me wonder what the next big Kirby game is going to reference then. Eh, all we have to do is wait and see. We just keep damaging him his hearts. Because I keep getting hit with blood. Thank you. And now, you gotta literally tug on his heartstrings. No, Latios is uh, exclusive to Scarlet, it looks like. Alright, and that's phase two out of the way now. And now Void Terminal revives himself. But this time, he grows wings. Now, I wanted you to look closely at his feathers. Because his feathers are a reference to Zero Two from Kirby 64. Zero Two's feathers. It's also a slight reference to Starbeam for Kirby, the later Robocop as well. I am looking at using arrows, which is based on the arrow ability that was in the 3DS Kirby games. That is for here, sadly. I did not see that. Alright, let's do that for us now. Alright, and now he uses this arrow attack. It's actually one of the uh, best looking attacks in the game, but if you know, this attack was awesome. Really, there's no, there's no legendary version of exclusives. How do I get the other ones? Huh. And next time I do a Pokemon video, we should look at that. I notice how now he's using fire from Flame from Flamebird's abilities. Alright, and that's three health bars down. Alright, now the Giant Axe, also from Flame. Alright, you jump over him. You can lay in a lot of shots thanks to it. Uh, going in slow motion. And now only one more health bar to go before we're in the final stretch. And now this part is definitely no full of references. Do you all remember the Master Crown from Return to Dreamland? Well, that's significantly referenced right over here. He's blasting lasers at us. Yes, I'm aware he's not. Nice little reference to return to the game once again. Uh, 
Oh, we're almost done with this phase. Don't you worry, this is a long boss fight. But we're almost to the end. And down he goes. The Master Crab's taking control over, uh... What's his face? I'm Agamor, yeah. Which means this creature is in some way related to the Master Crab. And now, here's the final, final phase. And now, I want you to look very close at this sphere's face. Because, it looks like Kirby. Now, what does the pause screen description say? Versus Void Termina. It's the spring breeze blows. A young traveler appears. After greeting new friends and biting, for, uh, biting, or farewell, bidding, excuse me, to, to old ones, this path has finally led him here. Let's beat this guy already. After that, lunch and a nap. <laughs> How Kirby never change. But yeah, there's a reason why this void has the same face as Kirby. Okay, this attack will literally put your enemies against you, just throw a friend card at them and you can turn on that. Or you can, like, two shot them and they Oh my god, they're after me. And again, one little thing I'd like to note about this boss, this boss gets damaged by friend hearts. Because the thing about Void, and it's stated later on in some other boss fights in the game, that this is, uh, Kirby's other, well not other form, but I'll tell, I'll bring it up later in the battle, because there's another one this boss has. That's very similar to another past Kirby. It definitely gives us way more lore about this fight. Ah! I got flattened! And this form right here is its dark matter form. Now let me pause for a split second. It's not explicitly stated in the game, but it's confirmed that Void Termina is related to both Kirby and Dark Matter slash the Zero species as seen in the Dreamland games. Or as they call it, as the fans call it, the uh, Dark Matter trilogy being Dreamland 2, Dreamland 3, and Kirby's Crystal Shards. Now, if Void is influenced by positive emotion, a Kirby will be born, which that's explained later on in the game thanks to uh, the free DLC, let's just call it, this game got later on in its lifespan. However, if Void is affected by ne negative emotion, he turns into a Dark Matter. Which is why he has a face that both resembles Kirby and Dark Matter. And, a re and also explains why uh, Boy Termina takes damage from friend hearts, as I've shown earlier. Definitely one of my favorite lore guns in a Kirby game. Uh, nah, that used to go up like that. I think that's really all it for the lore on this boss fight, because this boss fight is over. I need to play with a Scarlet player, okay. And next time we do a fun stuff video, we should get to that, because I need me a Latios. Alright, now this fight is not over just yet. Because that goddamn ball of curviness and dark matterness is coming right out, and he's angry. And time for the finishing blow that we've known for many modern games. I really love the song that plays with this as well. Hey, who put anime in my Kirby game, huh? Who did that? I didn't know we had beam struggles here. But anyways, these old final finishing attacks have been around since the first return. Every mainline Kirby game since then has had something like this. And welcome to the reason why we all have Joy Contract, everybody! Anime and my curb game, the power of friendship! <laughs> this is such a power trip and I love it. I almost broke my thumb.
And now he just manifests all of his friends out of nowhere from his own memories. And again, another thing that isn't explicitly stated in the game. And look at that! Oh no, friendship! <laughs> Which is also a little reference to how Dark Matter and Zero Species in 32.2.3 and Kirby Crystal Shards says you can only damage them with special weapons like the Level Up Stick or the, or the Crystal Shards and Crystal Shards. Which, another reason why it explains why Void takes damage from the Friend Hearts, because the Dark Matter and Zero Species, yeah, they're weak to kindness and friendship and whatnot. And in fact, a little lore dump about the Dreamland 2, 3, and Crystal Shards game is that, uh, the reason why Zero in Dreamland 3 decided to try invading Dreamland is because he was just jealous of their happiness. Because the Dark Matter and Zero Spheres are completely devoid of positive emotion, and they want to destroy the positive emotion. Another reason why explaining why Boyd takes damage from his friend hearts. Oh no! Kirby, don't die, man! Oh yeah, he's fine. <laughs> but anyways, about this little scene right here, in the update that added Marks, the animal friends, and uh, Gooey, there's a slight glitch where if you have, I, I don't remember exactly how it is, but if you have Marks, I think in the player 4 slot where he has the green skin, and you're, I think you're using the parasol ability, he'll load in T-posing holding the parasol. I forgot exactly how that goes, but it was something like that. I don't know if that glitch is still in the game or not, it's been quite some time since I was added, but yeah. Come back, man, we're going home. Yeah, don't make an enemy of him, mate. I mean, why would you want to make an enemy of Kirby, really? I mean, for starters, and have you seen all the Kirby villains and stuff? And they don't want to, like, you don't want to mess with this man. And as, uh, according to his pause the screen description in Planet Robobot, he's confirmed to have infinite power, so you don't want to deal with him. You don't want to be on his bad side, man. All right, and that is the end of the main story. Yeah, let's just skip this. We don't need to go through the credits. Alright, with that being said, go on a friend adventure. Guest star, question marks. Star Alice, go. It's now unlocked. The ultimate choice. How much can you take? Find out the ultimate choice is now unlocked. Alright, collect hearts to change the outcome. Calling all dream friends, Heroes in Another Dimension is now available. Which Heroes in Another Dimension was a side mode that was added later on in the game's lifespan. Funnily enough, just before Smash Ultimate came out back in 2018. I still remember back in my junior year of high school playing this, it was quite nice. And the ultimate choice is essentially just the arena from previous Kirby games, but a little bit different. It's much- yes it is, it's much shorter. That's the thing with most mainline Kirby games. They're pretty short, but they have a lot of side modes. Especially this one, this- The Heroes in Another Dimension was added later on, but funnily enough, both Return to Dreamland Deluxe and Forgotten Land didn't have added content later on after the game's first initial launch, so... They- I guess they didn't- uh, people pr they probably got a lot of backlash for that, let's just say. I guess there's one little thing I'd like to show in the ultimate choice. Yeah, we're using Chili Peppers. One player? And let's just use Kirby for now. I don't... Yeah, let's just do this by ourselves for a bit. Now, there are different levels to this, and as you go through the other modes that we just unlocked, you can unlock higher, more difficult levels. But for starters, let's just go with a Sweet Breeze, which is a nice little reference to a Spring Breeze. The very first mode in the very first Kirby game. And we're against Wispy Woods. Wait a minute, did I just do this with no ability? Oops. <laughs> Hold on, let me go back to the title screen. <laughs> I completely forgot that's how that works. <laughs> one player, and I'm going to use the hammer power because you know how much I like that. Just a spring boost. Uh, that's going to come, it's not going to be, it's, it's not going to happen for quite some time because this, there's another game I'd like to play after this, the Paper Mario Thousand Year Door remake will be coming out this year, so that has to be the end. Wispy Woods, what's your post screen description? Kirby's familiar foe, Wispy Woods is back bright-eyed, he has no eyes. Kind of. But she headed 
and dropped more apples than should even be possible. Use your friend abilities with A and cut him, or with A, with up, to cut him down to size. Well, I'll cut him down to size, alright. There won't be no size when I'm done with him. Keep hitting him and down he goes. I don't know, man. You don't want to deal with these hearts, dude. Let me punt that away from you. Punts it to the moon, if you will. There was a certain poker tuber I watched that who once said that. I don't remember what his name was. Hmm. Though I remember he had a bit of a fascination with frogs. Well, that hammer time, what do you mean by that? Ow, god damn it. Ow. Man, you're rude, Bonkers, you know that? Alright, do these guys have positive descriptions? Well, a new festival of battle is about to begin. Now, uh, test your limits with this. The ultimate choice, Kirby and friends will face off against a gaggle of super spicy bosses in their unending quest to gobble up everything in sight. Hey, Mr. Flossy's back to sell us this floss again. And that's the end of this stage. That may be the guy's name was PM7. Uh, hmm. Does sound familiar, I guess. Himself. Well, what is your posture description? Surely King Dedede would never steal all the food in the kingdom and hoard it for himself. Why would he do such a vile deed? Oh, come on, stop playing stupid. You know he's done it before. Such questions will have to wait, as the king is coming for his eternal rival with all the fury of a wild beast. Which I think might be a slight reference to his boss fight in Forgotten Land, even though this game came before Forgotten Land. Kind of foreshadowing, perhaps? And now... Man's been hitting the gym. I'm behind you, just doing damage. It's okay, don't turn around. Okay, you can still damage him even when he's in the back, but it just takes very minimal damage. Uh, what is it that you're about to do? And down goes the king. And now our final fight with Meta Knight. Hopefully without friends, it's a little easier to at least see what's going on on screen. Alright, the Lone Swordsman Meta Knight. Honestly, I think this boss fight is nowhere near as good as this boss fight in Forgotten Land. He does block quite a bit. Alright, now on to the second phase. Alright, so how this attack works is the more friends you have, the more he'll defend himself. You have up to four friends, he'll have four friends. You're by yourself or you only have two friends, you have one friend. You only have one friend. If you have three friends, you'll have two other friends. Definitely a nice little... Definitely gives this fight a bit of replay of the inside. Alright, let's wait for him to get these rocks down. Use them to force. You don't want to get copyrighted. Ah, who am I kidding? 
There are plenty of games out here that have been covered in Star Wars for a long time now. I mean, look at the Mega Man X games. And down goes Meta Knight. And you guys can't see his face. Yeah, nope, nope, don't see this, kids. You can't see that. Not really? Alright, then I have to quiet down the, the music a little bit. That's not hard to deal with. Either that or I'm just really soft spoken. Alright, but that being said, now that I've defeated the ultimate choice, we unlock the Dream Friends. You can now select Dream Friends when selecting a character. Change things up and aim for victory. New Dream Friends added. New Dream Friends from the latest update are ready to go. Latest update from late 2018, mind you. That was five years ago at the time of this video being made. Join forces and take down some fearsome foes. Oh, you mean the screen. Okay. Well, I don't want it to be too big and it takes up too much things on the screen. That's the thing. So, now that we've defeated that, we've unlocked all of these characters. Except one. Which gets unlocked in a separate mode. And it's gonna be a while before we get this character, so... I think, well, in the meantime, though, in the next few episodes, I think y'all should make a guess on who this character might be. Hint, it's not just a character, not just two characters, but three in one. And ever since the latest update of this game, Meta Knight, King Dedede, and Wall D have all had new attacks added. Some of which, for Meta Knight and uh, King Dedede exclusively, are based on some of their moves from Smash Bros. Again, this game, this, all these updates came out before Smash Ultimate was a thing. Like, like a good week or so before that game came out. Definitely brings back memories. But anyways, here are the animal friends. We got Susie from Planet Robot, Taranza from Triple Deluxe, Magalore from Return to Dreamland, one of the best dream friends, Deroach from Squeak Squad, Dark Meta Knight, the main villain of, uh, the other main villain, I should say, of Amazing Mirror, and just Edgy Meta Knight, and probably my favorite character in this game to use, Adeline Ribbon from Kirby 64, Gooey from Kirby's Dream Land 3, and we all know Marks from Kirby Superstar slash Superstar Ultra. Yeah, Susie right over here from Planet Robobot, she was a main character in that game. I suggest you do some research on that if you're truly curious. Uh, anyways... I think that'll do for today's episode, and the next one, as soon as this loads, okay, we'll do Guest Stars, which is also very similar to the um, uh, Heroes to Helper from Kirby Superstar Ultra, which is obviously what this mode is inspired by. I bet you'd be flattered by that, but anyways, this is the mode we'll do in the next episode. If you all enjoyed this and you want to see more, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and follow who will live in GCN Screw Enough on YouTube and that bell button for more. From Planet Robot on 3DS, came out back in 2016. Thank you to Aaron for joining me once again for this wondrous episode. Plus, this video is sponsored by the wonderful peeps at Adobe. Just hit the link in the description below. Use the code provided to get a wonderful discount on your wonderful new drink order. I recommend the Dragonade flavor. And what did you like and dislike about these videos so far? Let us know, and that feedback can be used for future episodes. Anyways, let's do a quick raid, and we are done. For those of you on Twitch, at least. Okay. Alright, let us start the raid. To 1094. He's playing Minecraft, it looks like. Go give him some support and tell him I sent you. Alright, and thank you everybody for watching, and have a very good day.